Hi, my name is Lindy Cowling and welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk. Email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. And the title of this video this evening is The Rewriting or the Redefining of sexuality templates, the rewriting or redefining of sexuality templates. Now, I'm just going to launch straight into the video now while I'm in the flow of things. And this video has been on my mind for a few days, but as often happens, as you know, this is an experiential channel, which means Everything I share has been grown through, processed through, experienced by myself personally and or professionally and or has been worked through with clients all over the world professionally. So in other words, I only share and talk about aspects that I have experienced personally and professionally. So as I launch into this channel, where I'm going to start here is it is true to say that all, that is all of the inner templates and blueprints of consciousness are being redefined rewritten across humanity at this point of time. And that has been happening for quite some time now. It's not a new thing. What is new is that it's speeding up significantly. And as more people are going through this process of expansion in their multidimensional quantum heart, as they are refining and redefining their own inner blueprints and own inner templates, other people in the soul family, blood family and in the collective are able to imprint automatically on these refined templates so it's easier for them. So not everyone is having to go back to scratch and start at the beginning. I use the metaphorical comparison to like a relay race in a way. Uh, the, the ones that have gone the long way round hand it on to the next lot. Because the net lo next lot can imprint on them, it's much short for the next lot. And then the next lot go hand the baton on to the next lot and they can imprint on them so it's even quicker. And then in the end, we'll get to the point I predict in about 30 years where, let's say en masse, the general population, are imprinted and blueprinted and refined enough within themselves that that imprinting on others is no longer necessary. In other words, the general mass population being mainly conscious by then. So it's an interesting process and everybody to certain degrees are at different points in that process. When I say everybody, that's not entirely true. Not all of the population are choosing to go through that process or want to go through that process in this particular experience or this particular life. But those that wish to, or put it that way, are coming online internally, I mean, not on the Internet, but internally online to this process of consciousness transformation and people are at different stages with that, shall we say. So it's really interesting to me, this particular era or arena, sorry, of the transformation of the sex and sexuality templates. Now, as we know, one of the most woefully misused and distorted energetically in every sense of the word 
um, templates on this planet has been sex and sexuality and the, the greatest way that's been distorted is through things like the vibration of pornography and the vibration of encouraging literally almost like base level, base chakra, survival level um, sex, you know, sex without any connection with the heart, many times sex without any connection to love or care and most of the time um, sex without any intimacy uh, whatsoever. So it's a, a woefully and has been a woefully manipulated, controlled, contaminated, let's say entity wise, control energy wise, programmed energy wise, mind control energy wise, energy on the planet. So in other words, that particular template of consciousness is a big one and it's a big one that's undergoing a massive rewrite on this planet. And how it's undergoing a massive rewrite is that people are finding as they're going up into the consciousness of their metaphysical heart and the metaphysical heart portal that they are attracted to people in a way that they've never been attracted before. So instead of the automatic attraction being a sexual or chemical attraction like boy meets girl, girl meets girl, boy meets boy, a sudden sexual chemical attraction that is nowhere near on the top of the list anymore, sometimes not on the list at all. And what is happening is that they are connecting on a heart level, so a more refined level of consciousness with somebody else. And let's say the sex is no longer sex, it's intimacy. And it is not priority number one on a list of one to 20. It's it's not the main priority anymore. It's the, the connection, the synchronicity, um, the compatibility in energy, the feelings, uh, the love, uh, the creation that they can create, all of these kind of things and all and the chemistry does come with it and the that kind of attraction and uh, sexual attraction does come with it but it's no longer at the top of the list. It's not at the top of the list when you're coming through heart consciousness. It is everything's the other way round. There is not really the concern on what packaging your connection with someone comes in. It, the energy and the essence, the soul, the spirit is everything. And the outer packaging they come in is secondary. So, you know, you hear this all over the world. Someone will say, I have this amazing love for and this amazing connection with um, so and so. You know, this person it could be male, could be female. Um, but it's confusing, they say, because I don't actually immediately find them sexually attractive um, and they would never normally be the sort of person in hair colour, in size, in shape, in age, in skin colour, um, in belief system, in nationality that I would normally go for. And yet I feel so much love for them and I want to be with them and I have such a connection with them. And this is a worldwide phenomena that is increasing because they are connecting heart to heart in their consciousness, in soul, in essence, in spirit first. And then what, let's say, comes later, I don't mean necessarily a lot later in actual time, in the concept of time, but what comes later, the later priority, that would be a better way of putting it, the later priority is um, the, the chemical and intimacy side of it. And because of the overwhelming love and connection, that kind of falls into place with that anyway. And when you have that overwhelming connection and love for someone that is absolutely amazing, it kind of all of the other side of it comes with it naturally, but it's a higher form of naturally. 
It's not um, a knee-jerk sexual primal response. It is intimacy. I One of the first videos I brought out on this channel four and a half years, nearly five years ago, was the difference in vibration between sex and intimacy. I've brought a couple of videos out on that over the years. The difference in harmonics, the difference in frequency, in sound, in feeling, in energetics, in templates and in blueprints. And the same still stands. The same information is still relevant now meaning that automatically when you are connecting in a higher level of the consciousness of who you are, in a higher level of your essence or spirit or, or soul, the sexual department changes significantly because you are connecting in intimacy, in to me see, intimacy. It is a different level of frequency and vibration, and let's put it this way. Many of the gizmos that go with it are very different to a primal sexual response. It's a refined sort of connection and experience that is the energy of creation. It's part of that energy is creation. So you cannot get creation from let's say, plain knee-jerk sex or porn or porn industry. You can't get it. It's not there. It's not, not that vibration. If you are from a place of profound love from the heart, let's call it, we can call it divine love, profound connection uh, on all levels, mind, body, spirit and soul, and you are then connecting in that way. It's a different frequency, a totally different experience, and a byproduct of that experience is creating. I don't just mean creating children, I mean also creating the experience that you are in now and creating uh, wonderful things, not just for yourselves, but let's say for humanity per se, for the blood family, for the soul family that you're in, town, village, city, country, etc. as a natural byproduct of that, intentionally or non-intentionally, that is a natural part of that energy, refined energy. Could almost say it's like a sacred energy. That's why they call it kind of sacred sexuality or sacred intimacy, because it's absolutely true. So there are vast shifts. There have been, it's been happening for ages, but it's happening, the whole momentum is now speeding up on this planet um, in every sense of the word, inwardly and outwardly, everything is speeding up. So those templates are big templates that are being rewritten internally in us. Um, and then the, let's say the external, although we're all connected, if you like, in that tapestry of consciousness, external people to you are able to imprint on that to help speed up that aha, that knowing, that realisation, that self-actualisation, etc. themselves. They can imprint on them templates themselves. So um, this is a big area, the sexuality one, and what I have been seeing and noticed myself is that there's some profound shifts in that, both in other people and also actually, you know, I've experienced it personally and had a, a couple of really big hearts um, shifts, metaphysical heart opening shifts. Um, actually not meeting uh, the people, but actually viewing uh, both a male singer um, who's a, a homosexual male singer and also separately a few weeks later a female singer, um, actually a lesbian female singer, whose pitch frequency, vibration and inner templates were of such a refined, beautiful, evolved, divine quality, if you like, through their singing and their expression that when I watched them, it just instantly just brought me to, to tears, not of emotional 
distress but of absolute joy my heart actually ached and then I felt because I know what I know what these heart shifts are like I've had many of them over the years now a profound shift in my heart consciousness and expanded consciousness now this is fascinating to me that the two experiences I had by watching two separate people there both that happened to be gay how that created a huge shift in my um, heart consciousness and moved a lot of energy there. Now, at first I was questioning, okay, is this, I don't believe there is a coincidence to anything, you know, is this, I was questioning in my mind, is this random that they both happen to be gay and I watched them and, and they both independently a couple of weeks apart have this effect on on this inner template on, on my heart consciousness and then the first question i asked myself is is this a part of me am i is this a part of the unexpressed me that i didn't know about what i actually feel was the passage of time a few weeks um, later now is that those sexuality templates are they are templates that are a perfect balance of masculine and feminine consciousness, regardless of the packaging they are in. It is the soul, the spirit, the essence, and the whole refining of those relationship paradigm templates is... In regards to the purity of the spirit, the soul, the purity of love, the purity of joy, the purity of consciousness, the purity of essence, the outer packaging that that comes in or through is kind of in a way, how can I put it, not the most important thing, it's almost negligible, it's the actual connection. So to me, in answer to my own question to myself, it's because the whole paradigm of sex and sexuality and what relationships are and conscious connections and matching consciousness and soulmates and twin flames are, that is all being refined and redefined as I speak. And the whole meeting someone of the same sex or meeting an aspect of you that's the same sex or evolving and awakening through a catalyst of the same sex it kind of is all part and parcel of stretching and blowing out of the water all of these limitations on what we think love is and what love is acceptable and what connection is and what connection is acceptable it doesn't seem to matter as long as as long as this the, the end result is a balanced masculine and feminine template balanced within and overall balanced externally people have different experiences and unique expressions of experiences to get to that point the overall template is a balanced masculine and feminine twin flame union balanced masculine and feminine template the ultimate end result of a connection that is conscious now a lot of them don't get that far to becoming conscious and remain quite polarized but the let i'm talking about the template the twin flame union as a whole inwardly in themselves although like i say a lot of them don't get there but inwardly within themselves a, a balanced masculine and feminine form in union inside themselves a union of all the energy fields merged up all consciousness within themselves merged up complete whole unified balanced balanced masculine and feminine as conscious as they can be in their human expression or human vehicle that is either with each other or not with each other but it's balanced and union within themselves because that is a huge facilitator for 
the masses to imprint on. It's a, one of the Ascension templates for people to imprint on to help them along their journey. So part of the, the sexuality side of it, let's say, coming up for a lot of people, and I've worked with many people where this has come up and their, their connection, they happen to be heterosexual and then they, they meet a connection that's the same sex as them and, uh, the, you know, they're redefining everything and looking at that and understanding why that's happened, is we can have connections with people of the same sex, people of the opposite sex, people 40 years younger than us, I'm sorry, older than us, uh, 20 years younger than us, 25 years younger than us, um, someone that is 160 pounds heavier than us, someone that is um, really, really thin, someone that has long, long hair and loads of facial hair, um, someone that is very almost androgynous and so the list goes on and on and on, someone that's a different skin colour, someone that comes from a different culture, on and on and on I could go. The whole reason being love is love is love is love, connection is connection is connection is connection and you feel what you feel regardless of the outer packaging. Now it is true to say along the way in your heart consciousness or in our heart consciousness you can have experiences that are nothing to do with another person or you haven't even met them like the two heart awakenings I have. I will probably never meet those people, they're not an aspect of me. Actually I recognised who one of them was an aspect of which was amazing. But that's another story, but they're not an aspect of me. I'll probably never meet them, but it was their pitch, their tone, their frequency, their vibration, their templates, where they were at in their evolution that stimulated a heart's awakening and a re-templating and a redefining of my own inner templates in regards to sexual sexuality. Am I making a statement that suddenly... Um, I've changed, I'm no longer heterosexual, no, I'm not making that statement. As far as I'm aware, I'm still heterosexual. What I'm saying is anybody or everybody can have an effect on your heart to redefine those inner consciousness templates. It is true to say people can have that without meeting the people. It might be music, it could be sound, it could be an experience they have in nature, it could be an amazing life experience, it could be a shocking life experience. The most common way is often through meeting someone else because they are vast energy um, dynamos really. Um, vast energy mirrors, reflectors, etc. So that's a quick way of doing it. And of course, the whole relationship arena is being redefined so that eventually, let's say, the normal, the normal run of the mill connection will be pretty much conscious. People will be much more conscious than they are now. So they will be connecting from the heart and in energy first and not in the boy meets girl fashion of. Um, sexual attraction and compatibility and oh yeah we could have some security together and etc I'm not saying any of that's wrong what I'm saying is that's been the old way of doing it and of course that's worked for a few people but hasn't really worked for a lot of people you know marriages um, let's say come down I'm not going to say fail marriages come down at an unprecedented rate and that's continued to increase because it hasn't really been working and that will work even less so, really, in the form it is, because as people are becoming conscious, they want to relate consciously with somebody. So just to clarify and just go back over this, I don't want this video to be too long. All the inner templates of consciousness are being redefined. A big arena that's being redefined is those, let's call them those sexual templates and the misuse of sex energy and the transformation alchemically for it to be not sexual energy but intimate energy, um, the redefining of connecting with people and recognising you have a connection or, or a heart awakening. Um, you can have heart reactions to someone and it doesn't mean to say they're 
a profound soul connection for you. It means that they're, they're matching a, your frequency or got a frequency that's just right to ping your heart open metaphysically. It's important for me to say that. Doesn't mean to say that when you've got heart connection with someone, that that immediately means they are the one for you or that you've got to have a relationship with them. Um, it means that they are having an effect on your heart. And like I say, you can get it from music. You can get it from a from, um, beautiful um, animal. You know, um, you suddenly have a heart awakening, a beautiful experience, you know, um, sometimes a shocking experience as well. But there, there's a big arena that is shifting and changing very, very quickly now. And it's all part of that inner balance of masculine and feminine energy that is being retemplated uh, within us, you know, collectively, but within us, if you will like, individually as well. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet there because I don't want this to go on too long. Um, just before I sign off, I did um, have the pleasure of doing an interview, a radio interview, which was live, went out for an hour um, on the 16th of October with Christy Walsh uh, from the USA. I've had the pleasure of working with Christy many times before. And this is on Inflow Radio. Um, I think it's inflowradio.com, but you can find the link to that radio show. And I think it's going on iTunes and, and other things as well. Probably might go out as a podcast, I'm not sure. But you'll find the link to that on the events page of my website if you want to listen to that interview i'm sure you can find it somewhere it'll be up somewhere and it was great fun and really interesting and uh you know i was talking about some of what i've talked about here but also some different things as well so you might find that interesting and uh that went out on the 16th of october live so it will be up there with pre-recorded you know recorded now somewhere and it will be out there apart from in the ethers and um, you'll find it online so thank you christy for um inviting me on the show as well um, so I'm going to love you and leave you as always. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for resonating. If you resonate, thank you for subscribing uh, to the channel and supporting me as that channel in all the ways that you do. I do hope that you guys are doing well. Hard to believe that we're on the uh, 18th of October already. Um, there was something else I was going to say here now, but I think I'll save that and maybe bring another video out in the next few days or the next week. Um, those of you that have followed my channel for, for a long time will know that I don't just keep churning videos out for the sake of it. I put videos out when I have the impetus to do it, the inspiration to do it. I suddenly feel, yeah, I need to put this video out. I really want to put this video out. I don't drag myself up here and feel like, oh, God, a week has passed. I better put a video out. If ever that day comes, then you'll never see me on YouTube again. Um, I do it when I have the impetus to do that. And sometimes I want to share, share, share like crazy, you know, one after another. And others I'll be quiet for a few weeks and, you know, or, you know, even longer. Um while I'm doing other things or I'm busy doing other things or I'm processing things, etc., etc., It's not always right for me to come on camera for me personally or professionally. Um, so I'm mindful of all those things. And there is a lot going on at the moment um, in every sense of the word. And I'm also, of course, my focus is very much on this this book all about um, consciousness, etc., which, um, you know, I'm involved with as well. Anyway, I hope to be back with you soon. Um, I've already got an idea that that will be sooner than I have planned because I've got some things swimming around in the mix here. So until then, thank you for watching, guys. You look after yourselves and uh, see you again soon. Bye.